हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी स्ट्रेंथ ड्यूरेशन कर्व एंड इट्स सिग्निफिकेंस इन नर्व इंजरी व्हाट एग्जैक्टली हैपेंस टू दी स्ट्रेंथ ड्यूरेशन कर्व व्हाट आर दी फाइंडिंग्स व्हेन देयर इज नो नर्व इंजरी दैट इज अ नॉर्मल सिचुएशन व्हाट आर दी फाइंडिंग्स इन केसेस ऑफ पार्शियल नर्व इंजरी एंड व्हाट आर दी फाइंडिंग्स इन केसेस ऑफ कंप्लीट इंजरी बिकॉज दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट मे बी आस्क टू यू इन योर थियोरी एग्जाम एज अ शॉर्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन so the strength duration curve is a graph that records the electric stimulus that is given and the time needed by each stimulus to generate the response so we give the stimulus and the time that is needed to record the stimulus that is what tells us the integrity of the nerve why do we prefer to do that after the 20 day period of injury because as we understand we talk about any of these tests should be done at the timeline of 20 or 21st day after the injury so this is the recommendation that these curves should be plotted after 20 days of post injury the significance is that the regeneration starts after 21st days approximately and it takes around 270 days to regenerate so once the regeneration starts that is when you come to know about the true picture of what you are dealing with whether it is normal whether it is denervated or whether it is partially denervated so the curve helps to diagnose whether the muscle is normal or it is innervated denervated that is complete loss of connection or partial denervated that is partially the connection is gone and there is injury the other modalities apart from the curve are emg and ncv that is electro myography and the nerve conduction velocity these are the topics that we will discuss separately however these are the alternatives to the strength duration curve is it preferred to do the test in 10 to 14 days should you do it the answer is no you may do get some response because valerian degeneration may be around approximately the same time hence even though you may get some responses it may not be the correct one and hence the recommendation is not so however it is better off than doing it in the first week the impulses of different duration are generated which are divided like 0.01 milliseconds 0.03 0.1 0.3 10 and 300 milliseconds the stimulus that can be given can be either of the continuous current or the continuous voltage so if the current is kept continuously present the results that we get out of it are more accurate if the voltage is kept constant and the current is not it is more comfortable to the patient as compared to keeping the constant current however the results are not that accurate as what you will get in any case where you keep the current going through constantly so this is how the graph is represented wherein we plant the voltage across the timing as per the strength of stimulus given when do we get the response that is basically plot if the voltage is higher as you can see the response is very much so fast so this is the strength duration curve that is as per the amount of voltage given we mark the response if the voltage is very much so lesser given in intensity the response that we get is on the higher side of the time once the stimulus is given